Lovely jubbly. So today we're going to go back and look at video synthesis, which we covered a couple of times in the last couple of months, including the video by LZX Industries, as well as that weird, like, thingamajiggy. Today we're still going to actually look at LZX Industries, but instead of the video, there's a DIY alternative that they have, which is a video modular synthesizer that you can make yourself. It's called the Cadet Range, and what it is is basically modules of all of the simplified parts of a video modular synthesizer, which I still have no clue what's going on. So yeah, over the span of a couple of days, I built... 9, 10, 11, 12, 8, 5, 15 of these LZX Industries Cadet range module things and they're in bright red they're looking pretty swanky so how I built these is I went on the website and I ordered all the parts that were in the list there's a little code for mousey you just copy and paste and pop them in and you order it all it's very simple and then you literally just solder all the bits together starting with the smallest components and then you get bigger and bigger until you get to the front things and the knobs and potentiometers and then you put the panels on and yeah, surprisingly, it might all just work. There's a couple of things you get from a website called Fonk, like the knobs and the potentiometers and the jacks, but the rest of it, you just click on the bill of materials in the LZX Industries website, and you know, you just order all the parts on Mouser. It's easy, but yeah, let's see what they do. So to start with, here we have a sync generator, and this keeps everything in sync at the back, so it's all in sync with the TV, so it doesn't go all crazy and out and like scroll around on the TV. Next to it is an RGB encoder, and what that does is you put voltages into the red, green, and blue inputs, and then those will correspond to the red, green, and blue on the screen. You can make any picture you want, because that's how the TV's working. It goes red, green, blue, one after the other and um, it comes up as a picture. There's a video input so we can add video into this. There's free VCOs, voltage controlled oscillators. These are the things that like generate signals for like picture and patterns and stuff. Hard keys, these are kind of like if you want to do green screen but obviously you could go further in so they concentrate on one strong part and roll with it. Uh, I don't really know. <laughs> so this is kind of like a broken out video. So you build it and you've sort of got a video that's modular. So for instance, the oscillators are basically just things that oscillate in sync with the screen. Look at that. I plugged one oscillator into the red input and now it's doing that. Flick it over the vertical and it's there. And you can make, if it goes out of sync, then it starts moving with the image. If you add like other oscillators, let's plug one into the green. And now, you know, you've got like red and green. Woo! But maybe you want to plug these both in through a keyer and then they work off against each other. And one of them's been keyed against the other, which acts as a sort of comparator, which kind of chooses what level to pass through. And then you start getting some weird patterns already with just three modules. It's doing strange things. Oh my God, did see? I don't even know how I've done that. It's quite a bit to get my head around, but I've literally just plugged two oscillators into a Kia and it's already doing diamonds. I have no idea why. So okay, we've got some fancy diamonds from two or three of the modules that I've just put together. So I'm just gonna quickly like mess around and try and make up a funky patch that I can also sync up to music. Duh. So I've plugged in a load of random things. As you can see, I've kept the diamonds in the keying and then there's also a skeleton. It's kind of how you do a green screen. You're keying out certain parts of the image. So only the uh, skeleton comes up. As you can see, I've plugged most of it up and got the external camera going and stuff. So now I'm gonna plug things from behind me into here. So when it's making music, hopefully this is kind of in sync with it.
I hope that little nugget of information on the LZX Industries Cadet Range DIY Synthesizer Module things was interesting. If you're interested in DIY video modular synthesis, it's probably a good route to go because they're pretty easy. They are very deep, so you're going to need quite a big case to fit them in. And they also need an extra ribbon cable around the back, which is called the sync cable. There's loads more information on the LZX Industries website. The PCBs, the panels, the jacks, the knobs, the potentiometers are available on Funk. There's a link in the description. The audio that I've made will be available on the Patreon and all that juice jazz. And yeah, I'm Luke Mumno Computer. Don't forget to subscribe and yeah, don't be scared to try it.